Hey everyone, Hunzi plays here, and we are back to finding some more Pokemon Shield versions. So this is episode 16 of Pokemon Shield. So in the last episode, we left off at a cliffhanger here, talking to this lady, and she said, "Don't worry about right or wrong, just keep moving forward." So now we are gonna move forward here and um, continue battling the trainers. And it looks like the third lady is like the third twin sister of that lady, but they're just the same model. So I'm next. I think you might have what it takes to become the next fairy type gym leader. And um, yeah, and these people just say the same thing. And it's Theodora here and her Morgrim. Okay, so Morgrim doesn't have really that good defensing, so our uh, Yuri here will be able to hopefully take it down. And she went for the flatter, and she flattered us, so hopefully we don't hurt ourselves because she raised her special attack here. And her special attack is stronger now, so hopefully. Okay, good. Our acid pulled through, and hopefully this takes it out in one hit. Okay, it does. Nice. And the Morgrim goes down. Yeah, I want to use the Morgrim's evolution at some point in the series. And Yuri wants to learn Discharge. Oh, nice. So, yeah, this is a better move. So let's get rid of, uh, let's see, Toxic, uh, Nuzzle. I mean, I, I like Nuzzle. I feel like Nuzzle is a nice move if you want to, like, capture some Pokemon. Because like it paralyzes them and that helps you capture Pokemon. Oh, she has a Gardevoir. Um, well, actually, this might not have been a good thing. Question: What do I eat for breakfast every morning? What? Uh, how am I supposed to know? Uh, curry or omelets? Well, omelets make sense, but I mean you could also eat curry. But uh, I'm just gonna go for curry then. Oh my! I actually prefer omelets, but you had no way of knowing that, I suppose. Oh man, maybe we should have went for omelets. Okay, now we definitely are gonna have to switch out here. And let's switch into our uh, Corvus Squire here. Not Corvus Squire, Corvus Knight, or Ghost Sin. And um, yeah, he looks like a ghostly bird. I mean, I if if uh, Corvus Knight was a ghost type, I I would have believed it. But I like that he's a steel type because steel and flying is such a cool typing. Oh, he has mystical fire. Isn't that, uh, um, what's it called? Delphox's signature move. I guess it isn't Delphox's signature move anymore, but yeah, um, I didn't know that Gardevoir can have that move, Mystical Fire. It goes to level 40 now. One of our two strongest Pokemon. I play a strong trainer. I'm a method actor, so I became a trainer in real life too. Um, okay then. We should be focusing on the gym challenge, but Ms. Alpel insisted on making this an audition. Oh, are these people all trying to become gym leaders, or am I being the one tested to become the gym leader? And Opal is here, just like, rocking back and forth here, standing here. Oh, the mission has already ended. Oh, I can't go back. I guess I'm stuck here. But, um, yeah, I guess, um, maybe we should heal up our Pokemon? Let's see, congratulations, you have successfully completed the gym mission. Now I wonder if you've met the standards of the gym leader. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader challenge, Randy? Uh, no. Of course, you probably need to save a record of your progress and whatnot. Okay, so, yeah, we uh, are going to, well, we don't need to save, but we need to heal up, definitely. And, uh, yeah, use these super potions here on our Pokemon. Okay, I didn't mean to use that one. Okay, that was a waste. But, um, Yuri here gained some experience. I don't think we'll be using Prideful. Yeah, let's lead in with Yuri here. And um, this will be the gym he will shine in. And him and our Corviknight here will both shine in this gym. And Barracuda here, he's just gonna stay on our team, gain some experience. And, um, yeah. So, and Bolton as well. Although, maybe I should, uh, swap out our Pokemon. Well, actually, I, I can't. It looks like I can't switch out our Pokemon. Yeah, we can't use a VS Secret or Pokecamp here either. So, um, we're just gonna go on. Wait, let's so let's see what's written on there. Is this like her notes? These are score sheets for the gym mission. Leon, fail. Number of correct answers, one. Your talent in Pokemon battles is beyond anything I've ever seen, but you're rather hard to read. Wait, so Leon took this exam, the champion took this exam, and he failed? Sonia failed. Number of correct answers three. Wait, how did Sonia fail? You have talent, that's for sure, but you give up a little bit too quickly. And again, I imagine it's not easy being the granddaughter of Magnolia. Wow, so Sonia failed? I would think Sonia would be like a uh, 
A student and she wouldn't fail, but I guess she just gave up too quick. And is that it? Wow, these must be like super old then because like Sonia and Leon were doing their gym challenge like a long time ago. Okay, so we're gonna head on in there and uh, we're gonna be facing old pal. So I wonder what kinds of fairy type Pokemon we will see here. But um, yeah, I'm excited to get into this battle and to face off against old granny Opal here. And I feel like they built her up pretty well because we've seen her throughout. And she even gave advice to Ha Hop uh, to say um, he should be fighting for himself and not for his brother. So I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at how you handle those quizzes. The last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon behave. And we haven't seen Hop come to this gym yet, so it's kind of weird because we've seen Hop at like almost every city and every gym. I wonder if he made it here. And we're facing Opal now. And she has a Weezing. Probably Galarian Weezing. Alright, yeah. Galarian Weezing. And it looks like they uh, revealed Galarian, or they released Galarian Weezing in uh, Pokemon Go, actually. So oh, we can go for the Dynamax here, but um, let's not go for it. Oh yeah, and Galarian Weezing is actually Poison and Fairy type, so I should have went for Discharge there. Wait, what? Weezing is Tackle? Are you serious? Why do you have Tackle on Weezing? You, do you know my nickname? Uh, I, uh, let's see, the Wizard, the Magic user. I mean, I read her card, but um, I'm just going to go for the Magic user. This is too bad. Ah, uh, it is the wizard. Wait, what? She lowers our stats? This is not fair. Okay, we're gonna go for discharge now. Okay, now she's not going easy anymore. Ah, uh, man, I would have really liked that stat boost. But wow, look at discharge. Discharge looks really cool. The animation. Okay, let's go. go for another discharge. And she goes for tackle again. She's obviously not going all out here. Like, why are you using tackle? You are the uh, fifth the gym leader and you're using tackle. Oh, I can't believe we're already like at the fifth gym. Mawile, huh? Um, that is a steel and fairy type. So she's going for Pokemon that are like um, resisting poison. So steel and fairy. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's just go for Beriscuta here. Why not? Because our uh, Yuri there had a speed lowered, so um, I wanted to withdraw him. Maybe we could uh, use him next time. So she has a Mawa, level 36. And um, oh, Mawa has Intimidate. Oh man, I should have seen that one coming. So now our attack is decreased. But um, let's just go for Waterfall here. Our strongest move. How much does this do? Doesn't even do half. Oh man. And she has a crunch, so that's gonna do a good amount on us. Question What is my favorite color? Come on, it has to be pink. That's what I like to see in other people, but it's not what I like to see for myself. What? Oh man. We're just like failing her exam, though. Okay, let's go for both on here. I need someone who's strong and okay, someone who can get some good neutral damage. One of my favorite Pokemon, Bolton. Always dependable. And she goes for the crunch there. Oh, that does a good amount. Okay, let's just go for the spark here. And hopefully this takes it out. Okay, it doesn't take it out. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, man. Bolton's taking a good bit of damage here. Okay, this isn't as easy as I thought it'd be. Maybe I should have withdrew Colossal and brought him back but I mean I sent him on a mission so yeah he, I can't even withdraw him if I wanted to because I sent him on the uh, pokey job there ooh Togekiss um, Togekiss is a fairy type right actually this would have been perfect for uh, Bolton but okay Yuri could actually handle this pretty well I wonder what her Dynamax Pokemon will be I thought that she would definitely have that mushroom Pokemon but she doesn't but I mean like she has pretty strong Pokemon like, just as Tokikus is like a pretty strong Pokemon. And she has one more Pokemon. Let's go for the Discharge here. And she goes for the Ancient Power. She's faster than us. 
Not there's quite a lot. Oh, not raising her stats. Wow, so she is all about raising her stats, I guess. Can I get the paralysis? No. Um, question. Alrighty then, how old am I? 16 or 88? I mean, I know she's 88, but I mean, if I say 88, will that be like offensive to her? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for the thing that um, is the opposite of what I'm thinking. 16 years old, huh? I like your answer. Okay, so now we get her. We, we understand her. Um, we gotta be nice to her, I guess. And, um, yeah, um, let's just go for discharge here, I guess. I mean, oh man, that was a mistake. Yuri is gonna go down here, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of saw that coming, but I didn't know what to do in that case. But let's just go for ghosts in here. And um, yeah, I guess we should revive him, though. I mean, I don't think that Togekiss can really do much against our uh, Corviknight here. Hopefully not. But yeah, I don't want our Pokemon fainting that often. And at least he'll be gaining experience now. She goes for the ancient power here. Okay, so um, that might hurt a bit. Okay, good thing we live that. And we're, let's just go for Steel Wing here because I guess Togekiss is a fairy type. Um, I don't really use Togekiss that much, so I don't really know. But hopefully the Steel Wing takes it out. Oh man, it didn't. Wow, that's crazy. That Togekiss's ancient power really pulled through for it. And um, she went for air slash here, and it wasn't very effective. Okay, good. Nice, we took down the total kiss. Wow, these battles are harder than I usually think they are. And there's Hugh to game level, Bolton game level. Yeah, Bolton's uh, not as strong as I thought. Well, I mean, he is strong. Okay, now she's going for Alcream. My morning tea is finally kicking in. Okay, I didn't get to read. The entire thing of what she had to say but um okay let's just go for dynamax here dynamax max steel pike all right we gotta go full power now because she has her alchemy here and we know that she's gonna go for the gigantamax and it's too bad we don't have gigantamax corviknight yet we just have a dynamax corviknight and the crowd here is cheering us on and our HP has increased a bit as well, but maybe I'll need to go for like a hyper potion here. Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this. Oh wow, look at her. Her eyes are like all huge. I mean, she's a pretty good battler. And she's throwing that Pokeball. And she has the Gigantamax all creamy, so we've seen this thing a lot. And, um, it's like this cake looking thing. And it has like so many different forms, like they went all out when they went and created this Pokemon. But we're gonna go for the Max Steel Pike, and wow, look at how that looks like. Wow, that did a lot of damage. It has a cool animation as well. I wanna raise our defense, oh nice. Hopefully she doesn't like, go for a special attack. Maybe you like pink here, let me give you some. Okay, she's gonna give us some pink. G Max Final. Oh man, what is that move? Okay, it's not very effective, okay. Nice. And it heals her though. Oh, that healed her quite a bit. But we're gonna finish this off with another max steel pike. Man. Wow, this looks like Meltan's metal. The gooey steel. Okay, and we took her down. And her alchemy explodes. And our ghost sends level 41, so he's actually the strongest Pokemon on our team now. And our Corviknight comes through for us. You defeated Gym Leader Opal. Alright, nice. Wow, she throws her cane. Your pink is still lacking, but you're an excellent tra trainer with some excellent Pokemon. Nice, so she congratulates us on our uh, abilities here. She's walking to us slowly. Well, good try. Not bad, not bad at all. Still not what I'm looking for. Oh, don't worry yourself about it, child. It's just a matter of my preference. I wonder what would happen if, like, we got all the questions right, though. Would she say the same thing? I'll find the next gym leader elsewhere. In fact, I've already got an idea about where to look. Too bad about the addition. The, too bad about the addition. But here's a fairy badge for your efforts. No, well, I mean, I didn't even want to become the fairy type gym leader. But it, was, it would still have been cool if she said, um, You are worthy of becoming the fairy type gym leader. 
Oh well. You can now catch Pokemon of up to level 45. Take the CM with you too. A little bonus from this old lady. You got a draining kiss from her. Okay, nice. Lastly, here's a little something for humoring me. This might help add a little more pink to you. Very uniform. Okay, cool. So yeah, it's too bad I caught on to her strategy a little too late. Of course, it's not good to neglect your elders, but old folk like me should also know when it's time to step out of the spotlight. Ah. You received a TM from Leader Opal, yes? The next gym waits for you in Churchester. Okay, cool. So we beat her, and the next gym is in Churchester, so we can talk to this guy. The, the correct answers to the quizzes from Opal are the wizard, purple, 16 years old. I know what you're thinking, but adults can be complicated sometimes. So yeah, I mean, I caught on to her, like, at the end, that you're supposed to answer, like, the opposite, I guess. Even the champion can't pass Opal's addition, huh? Yeah, I guess Leon wasn't even able to, like, pass. Who in the world could answer all of Opal's quizzes? I mean, seriously. There's something else, kid. Yeah, that was a hard quiz. Now even more people will talk about you. And, like, it wasn't even a quiz based on, like, right or wrong. It was, like, one of those, like, quizzes where... She's just like based on her preference. Hold on now. Oh, she's here still. I thought Hop would have shown up. I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me for the journey? If you're headed for the next gym stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. Oh, cool. With pleasure. They say too is a company, after all. Oh, that's nice. We're walking with her. Although, I wonder what would happen if we said no. Like, would she get pissed off? Like, mad at us? Uh, but I guess maybe this is just like a nice uh, shortcut. She just like leads us here instead of us needing to use a Corviknight taxi. Hammerlock, oh, it's such a dusty town. No, no, I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Maybe some Pokemon live here specifically. But um, okay, um, I guess that's it for Opal, and um, we get healed up. So that's nice. Maybe she healed us up. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll just continue on then. And talk to this guy here. And, um, he still hasn't found his friends, I guess. But, yeah, um, we, I guess we have been doing a lot in these past few episodes. And, I mean, we have been getting through, uh, through the game pretty fast. And, I mean, it is pretty easy to get from gym to gym, especially, like, with those transitions and stuff. But, yeah, I do want to get through this game fast. Oh, and there is Bead. I wonder what happened with Bead, because like last time we saw him, he got eliminated from the gym challenge because Chairman Rose was like, I don't like what you're doing, Bead. I uh, had a disappointment in you. And our Rillaboom here is looking good. And our Pokemon here are also looking good. But yeah, I think it's time for Bolton to um, go back into the PC and um, for us to withdraw another Pokemon to get some more spotlight on a different Pokemon. Although if I had the uh, Galarian Yamaster, although he evolves in a very particular way, which is very strange. And um, yeah, I wish our Pokemon didn't all leave us to go on the Poke Jazz. I could bring them back, but I don't know if I want to bring them back. But um, hmm, maybe the Stunfisk? No, I don't, I don't like Stunfisk um, that much. I mean, he doesn't evolve, and I don't really want to use Stunfisk. Uh, maybe just a Pokemon, just to have, like, Evolve. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know, really. I guess we could just leave him there, because I can't think of any other Pokemon to get, and our Pokemon are on the job, so... Yeah, let's just get here, talk to Bead, see what he's up to. And he's looking there. And he's looking at us. Come to gack at me now that I've had my Gym Challenge banned taken away and my gym challenger status revoked. Yeah, he totally deserved that. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Uh, not really, I guess. I commend your humility. It is appropriate for a trainer of your limited talents. Okay, so he he is holding back now. He, said, he acknowledges we have talents. I'll have you know, though, that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I'll go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Okay, that's the spirit bead. Don't give up, hmm, bad boy. Even though he like uh, put down Hop pretty badly, I don't, I don't think that Beach would give up. Now that's what I would call pink. 
Oh, Opal really likes him. So sincere and straightforward and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Oh, so Opal has a liking for him. Time for my gym mission, child. Oh, what? Pink. Pink. And pink. Congratulations, child. Oh, what just happened? Opal just, uh, loves bead, I guess. M Miss Opal, what in the world has gotten into you? You were used by Olena, and uh, am I right? Oh, you yeah, it's the old lady talking. You were used by Olena, am I right? You worked hard together, wishing search for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the Wishing Stars. Very well, for now, child. You should head to Churchester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7? Okay, so Opal has found Weed here to take under her wing. And, um, okay, so these two are, like, perfect for each other, I guess. Um, that was kind of, uh, random, though. I didn't expect for that to happen. But, um, yeah, uh, I mean, I feel happy for Bede. He has found someone to mentor him, I guess. And I guess we never even, like, went to the right side of the city. I never explored this part of it. That's so strange. Oh, Sonia's here. Hey, uh, the badge collecting going well. I've been doing some research on the ruins and so on side. The sword and the shield. What kind of Pokemon were they? And where are they now? I still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in Kaboom. Wow, another explosion? Are you kidding me? What is that? Yeah, but I don't think I've ever been on this side before. Hamilock Stadium shook. That's where Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Huh? A power spot? What do you mean, like where you can Dynamax? That's right, the power spot detector reacts when it's possible to Dynamax. Hey, Sonia and Humzy too. You felt the shaking, right? Seems Chairman Rose is assessing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. You'll get... You'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going too. I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals, so you should leave the investigation on the quaking to the adults. Head to Churchester and get the gym badge. Okay, cool. So these two are traveling together. Oh, and Hop is there. Like, we're just in the background. He was just walking there. Oh, Humzy. Oh, nice. Hop is here. I wonder how he has been doing. How his gym challenge, how his gym challenge has been going. Well, we all know that Dragon's Guard treasure. It definitely, it's definitely fitting that Rayon's the guardian of the vault. So yeah, I never explored this upper area, so it's cool that um, there is this area. I should probably explore it a bit. And also this house. And I'm not sure if this area was blocked off before. There's this guy here. That old gent in the Pokemon Center is quite the jack of all trades, don't you think? He can make Pokemon forget moves or even have them remember moves if they've forgotten. So, yeah, Hop is there. We should probably not leave him hanging though. Okay, I thought he disappeared for a second, but he just uh, had to load in. So first that forest, and that, and then that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word. In the word, it looks like I finally caught up to you again. Okay, so Hop has finally caught up. Come with me to Route Seven. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Okay, so it looks like Hop is uh, making progress towards his goal. You should really visit. Winden sometime. People from all over the world gather there. And there's this Corvus Squire here. Okay, so it's good Hop is motivated again. And yeah, I guess I haven't uh, visited these houses here. Oh, look at this girl. She's like having these rookity here. I raised and live with rookity just because I love them so much. I've got nothing to do with the flying taxis. Oh, really? Maybe she has all these rookity to train them with the for the flying taxis but I mean she says she has nothing to do with the flying taxis but you would think that someone with so much rookity would like train them up and like have their flying taxi business like hello there young man are you interested in the weather yes oh is that so well then let me get started 
If the sunlight is harsh during battle, fire type moves become powerful, water type moves become weakened. Sunlight will thaw out any frozen Pokemon and they'll be immune to being frozen, while the weather loss moves like Solar Beam can hit. Um, growth and Synthesis so moves like Thunder Hurricane become less accurate. Uh, thanks for listening so politely, please take this. And we get a Heat Rock. Okay, yeah, I mean, we already kind of knew about the Sun, Sunny Day TM and the move Sunny Day. Yeah, those are the abilities of Sunny Day. Your uh, Solar Beam will just need one turn, and your Solar Blade will only need one turn. So I wish there was Box Lunches. Okay, so we did talk to her before, but I wonder why... I feel like this place was blocked off before, although I don't remember exactly. But um, yeah, it does seem like we're at the 30 minute mark, so I think that we're going to be ending off this episode here. Um, I just watched watching Rayon lose to Leon. Um, I think we have talked to these peoples before. And uh, yeah, we have. Welcome to the BP shop. We don't have any BP. I wonder how do we get BP though. But yeah, um, so I guess that's going to end it off for episode 16 of Pokemon Shield. Wow, I can't believe it's already been 16 episodes, but yeah, I've just been trying to record this whenever I can, but I do get busy sometimes, and I haven't been able to make some of my other videos, like on the Pokemon anime and stuff, but um, I do want to get through this game to get to the more interesting stuff, like the raid battles, the shiny hunting and stuff like that, so yeah, I do hope that I can get a shiny Pokemon. One of you guys, uh, Adams, I think he's said you hoped that I got a shiny Pokemon like you were wishing me luck so thank you for wishing me luck on the shiny Pokemon so hopefully I'll be able to do that more in the post game so yeah um, thanks for watching have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one